this afternoon full of praise and thanksgiving for our lives, for the people you have blessed Gimpa with, and for bringing our institute this far. We are gathered here this afternoon to give honor to those whose lives have sowed the seed that has grown to benefit many, to touch the lives of Ghanaians and people across the world. We commit this program into your hands. We pray that you will be with us and guide us so that we'll have a successful program. And at the end, we'll give you all the glory. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Chairman of Gimpa Council, Mr. Kufida Kwasante, members of Gimpa Council, both present and former, our Honorable Guest Lecturer, Emeritus Professor Stephen Ade, our host for this special occasion, the Rector of Gimpa, Professor Samuel Kwekubusu, former Rectors of Gimpa, Nananum, Nime, Name, the representative. Nimfahini, who is representing Nordenoho Kwafakotu III, the paramount chief of Akwamu traditional area. The UN representative, who I understand is still on his way here. Honorable members of parliament here present. Vice chancellors and registrars of sister universities, heads of departments and age agencies, the family of Mr. Victor Marfo, Senior management of partner institutions here present, members of the academic board, senior members and staff of GIMPA, invited guests, the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome to GIMPA. My name is Victoria Kumbu. I'm the secretary of the institute and I'll be the MC for this program. Nelson Mandela said, and I quote, what counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we led, unquote. We are here today to honor the memories of two gentlemen, as I mentioned earlier, whose lives have indeed touched all of us and others outside of this room, whose commitment an industry led to the establishment of GIMPA and its foundational years, seeing things through and building the foundation for others, um, such as the, our guest lecturer and other rectors who are here have come to build upon. So this is what we are here to do, to give honor where it's due. So with that said, I'd like to call on the chairman for this occasion, our own rector, to give his welcome remarks. Rector. Chairman and members of the Gimpa Governing Council, Nana Akufu Akoto Akwamohene, who couldn't be here, but your Jasehene is here representing you. Members of Academic Board, members of the Diplomatic Corps, faculty, staff of Gimpa, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gimpa Green Hill, where beauty is second nature. Second only to heaven, as you expect me to say. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, it was nearly about 62 years ago, I think it will be in June, that the foundations of our current Gimpa was set. The Institute of Public Administration, as it was then called, was to develop Ghanaian expertise to take over the reins of government from the colonial uh, leaders, the colonial bureaucracy, uh, British. Gimpa has done well over the past 62 years, experiencing some ups and downs 
that have made us even more resilient than we started. We have had to adapt to the changing needs of our country over this period, adjusting the um, adjusting program offerings and other aspects of our existence to match the evolving needs. Even so, we remain committed to our public sector obligations, working with both business and industry and policymakers to enhance the capacity building of Ghanaians and Africa or Africans as a whole for purposes of national development and continental development. After 52 years, we still look forward to the next 62 years, not with trepidation, but with a lot of hope for a brighter Gimpa. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the simplicity of the brief history of Gimpa that I've just given um, overshadows the vigorous engagements and backroom discussions that went into the final decision to get the Institute started in 1961. We stand tall today as Gimpa because we're standing on the shoulders of many who came before us. The acquired struggles, the hard work, all in the name of Gimpa. Would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to all who have contributed to our current public standing and the successes that we have chalked over the years. Mr. Chairman, one former American president, Abraham Lincoln, uh, have noted, is noted to have said, and I quote, a nation that does not honor its heroes shall not long endure. Gimpa hopes and seeks to endure. Therefore, we have begun a process to honor our heroes. Today is only the beginning of bigger and better things to come in remembrance of our heroes who have allowed us, those of us who are still here, to be here as members of the Gimpa community. Therefore, we have gathered here this glorious and momentous day to honor a sampled few who have contributed in diverse ways to our beloved institute. We are doing so by way of an institutionalized annual public lecture christened Manfi Hammarskjöld Annual Lecture. Details of, the, of uh, Mr. Manfi and uh, Mr. Hammarskjöld are in the brochure, so I'm not going to go through them here. But by this lecture series, we seek to immortalize these two gentlemen who were with us in our formative years. But we cannot forget our third hero. Our third hero for this afternoon is our illustrious former rector, Professor Stephen Adai, who will deliver the inaugural Manfi Hammarskjöld Lecture. Prof. Adai is no stranger to all of us. Well, maybe to many of us. He may be a stranger to some of us. Um, but I'll introduce him appropriately later in the program. For now, I only wish to say thank you uh, to Prof. Adai for agreeing, uh, agreeing to give this very first uh, Manfi Hammarskjöld Lecture. Mr. Chairman, my purpose here is only to let us know why we are here this afternoon. In short, we are here to listen to a lecture, an event to honor three illustrious sons of Gimpa. And I, I, I say son because um, I hope to be able to say daughters in the near future. So I'd like to say to all of us who are present here, welcome to Gimpa and thank you for being here. I trust that you'll enjoy the lecture and your partnership with us or your membership of the Gimpa community will become even stronger by your presence here. So thank you all very much for being here. Welcome to Gimpa Green Hill, where beauty is second nature. And I will not add that it is second only to heaven. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much, Chairman and Rector, for your warm welcome message. We have been joined by the UN Residence Coordinator for Ghana, and he's in the person of Mr. Charles 
Abani, you're welcome, sir. It appears he had timed the director's speech so well, so he got here when it was just about time for him to deliver his message. And so, sir, may I respectfully invite you to give your message. Thank you, sir. First of all, my apologies for being slightly late, um, but I, I guess it's proof that God is on my side. The chairman of the occasion, your Royal Highness, the rector of this um, august institution, deans of faculties, distinguished invited guests, students and learners, our media partners, um, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a great honor for us to be part of this inaugural lecture, the Mamfi Hamashold Lecture, which is focusing on the linchpin role of political and public sector leadership in the rise and fall of nations, the lessons from Ghana. It really reflects on the influence and the ability of political and public sector leadership as an impetus for good governance and nation building, and how Ghana can learn from experiences and examples out there. But I dare to also say how Ghana can contribute to the learning of others in this space. It is gratifying to see the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration, GIMPA, seeking to drive through leadership around the very tenets and principles on which the institution was established. What is also pleasing is the fact that this lecture is named after its first Ghanaian principal, Mr. E. Victor Manfi, and the United Nations Secretary General at the time, a Swede, who established, helped to establish the institute, Dag Hammarskjöld. It recognizes the foresight and the foundations laid before us as we arrive here today. Expressing gratitude through this is an important incentive for future leaders, many of whom will pass through these halls. Let us also pause to appreciate the efforts and inputs of the UNDP who led the UN's contribution. I bring to you felicitations from the United Nations family, both globally here and in Ghana, and congratulate the, the organizers for recognizing the critical role the United Nations played in the establishment of the Institute, one of Africa's finest public institution facilities here on the continent. Indeed, the United Nations was instrumental in, in the setup of the institution after independence, when it became imperative for the nation to build and have an excellent core of public and civil servants and staff to run the plethora of agencies across different levels, driven by its belief in the critical role of effective governance and public administration for sustainable development. This was an imperative that was great uh, of importance at independence, and that imperative is no less today. As Ghana grapples with a range of challenges, some local, many global, it must rely on the foundations of excellence in delivering public service. It is also, it is also uh, important because Ghana has upped its ambition laudably, clearly articulated in the Wiser Ghana document that focuses on self-reliance and ultimately a Ghana beyond aid, that the role and place of leadership, of governance, and strong institutions cannot be overemphasized. I will go further to say that now more than ever, the role and importance of institutions such as GIMPA in molding the leadership skills, the competencies, the ethics, the strategic thinking, transparency, accountability, and good governance that go into building reliable, strong, accountable institutions is even more critical 
as Ghana moves from a lower middle-income status to full-fledged full middle-income status. This is indeed the, the purpose of leadership. And I often define the purpose of leadership as three things, to craft a vision, to craft the identity, and then to execute that. And I think this institution is at the bedrock of helping Ghana to play that role. This is indeed aligned to all of the Sustainable Development Goals, particularly SDG 16, peace, justice, and strong institutions, essential for the 2030 Agenda for the Sustainable Development, and in line with even the findings here in 2022 of the government-led voluntary national review conclusions. Strong institutions will make Ghana stronger, and GIMPA has a linchpin role to play. The globe is ever more connected, and the challenges coupled with the issues of emergence are relentless. Today, we are not just looking backwards, but in fact having to think forward across a number of interconnected challenges. And the, the role of a dedicated and well-skilled public service to navigate these compl complexities is essential. These complexities range across a number of wicked problems of a fairer global financial system, challenging the complexities of climate change, global peace, and r the rise of terrorism, as well as big emerging issues such as artificial intelligence and migration, to mention but two. I have no doubt that the keynote speaker will draw attention to the many dimensions that this topic conjures in our minds. It's exciting. From the UN side, our network in public administration, referred to as the UN Public Administration Network, is a global con network that connects relevant international, regional, sub-regional, and national institutions and experts worldwide, and is also the key network through which we build globally in the context of new and emerging challenges. GIMPA is a proud member. UNPNA focuses on five priority areas, governance and institutions, transformative leadership, and public service capacities to realize the sustainable development goals, transparency, integrity, and preventing corruption, innovation and service delivery for the sustainable development goals, and digital governance.